So what's going on guys, it's your boy Bad Dog Snow. We're doing some chest exercises today. Now last time I did my back, I didn't talk. A lot of people probably was wondering what the hell was going on. So I'm just showing you a little bit because I don't want to be the guy that takes up the machines while I'm talking. Tech Deck's one of the best things you can do for your chest. Now I know you're not really going to be able to see much here because nothing I'd like more than to rip my shirt off and give you a show. But I'm in a public gym so I'm not going to do that. The lighting's not good, but that doesn't matter. This is pretty basic. It's just a straightforward motion. But obviously you want to squeeze the top like that. And again, always nice and steady. You control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. Back easy. Like I said, just let the weight control you. I can do this quite a while, so I'm not going to do all my reps here. I mean, obviously, I do progressive overload. The next two sets will be a lot heavier for me, less reps. That's what I do a lot of times, a lot of reps. Let me go up, less reps. Kind of to failure, maybe a little less than failure. But that is definitely really going to work the inner part of your chest for sure. You get a good chest doing a pec deck. One of my favorite things to do when I'm looking to decline, get my lower chest, is the decline cable press. I do it one arm at a time because, again, when you do it one arm at a time, you can go across and really squeeze the chest. So you just get a nice stretch and get your lower chest. I really don't know what else to say. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I mean, if you'd like, you could also do it like this to save time. You can always do it with two arms, but personally, I just, I like the balance. I like the one arm better. And that's really what I do for chest. And listen, I know I ain't got the biggest chest, that's genetics, but that's a damn good workout for your chest, trust me. All right, so finish off the workout. Love to finish off the workout with inclined flies, work that upper chest area. And I thought you guys know right now I'm a cupcake when it comes to this, so I don't lift a lot of weights with this, especially at the end because my chest is tired. I don't want to hurt myself. So usually for me it's like 40, 45, or 50. I always use a neutral grip so I don't wrap my thumb around the bar. I find I get a better squeeze, a better expansion, contraction with my thumbs out. And again, it's just basic. Push it up. Bring it down. Again, progressive overload is really good. So you got to see part of my workout. It shows you a lower chest exercise, mid chest, that's upper chest. That's part of my chest workout. Thanks for watching.